Hello everybody and welcome to my 7th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be going through uh, if statements and creating a little uh, password protected macro. So again we're going to be using alt plus F11 and alt plus F8 and you should be getting pretty used to these by now knowing how to use them so let's go straight to alt F11 and go into our editor and insert a new module and put sub uh, pass words protect it open parentheses close parentheses then what I want the program to do is come up with a message box asking you to input a password and then check that that password is correct. First things first, we want to create uh, the input, input box coming up. So to do this is say, similar to message box but instead of message box we put input box and again this takes a string so we can put this please enter your password now if I run this alt F8 and run then it comes up with a little box that we can type in and that's the same as entering our password so then what we want to do is check whether or not this password is correct. So we're going to use an if statement. So what do we want to do? What do we want password to be? This set password as dim password as string and then password equals passwords then also whatever they put in this input box we're gonna want to store that as well so we need to have another string called input and I can't use input because it thinks it's a keyword so uh, user passwords so then we want user passwords to be equal to whatever they put in this box so when they fill in this box it's going to make user passwords equal to whatever they've entered then we want to check if user passwords is the same as the actual password. So we're going to use what's called an if statement. So you put if and then after if you need to have what's known as a boolean statement and that's a statement that can either be classed as true or false. So we're going to have passwords equals user passwords and that stands for if passwords equals user passwords and we want then and then on the next line we can write whatever we want it to do if the password equals the user password say so we want to put uh, passwords or we wanted to say access gain so message box put a string in the message box what it's going to say so access granted so if they type in the same password as we have in here then it's going to come up with a little message box that says access granted and then we want what happens if it's not that so we're going to put else 
So if in the situation they're the same, it's going to do this, else it's going to do this. So this section here is going to be if the password doesn't equal the password. So we want another message box and we want passwords incorrect and then we want end if you always have to have end if because otherwise it's going to treat the rest of the code as whatever is part of the if statement which might mean you cut out the end sub so you have to have end if to signalize the end of the if statement so let's run this and see what happens say alt f8 run please enter your password so let's put in just random letters like this okay password incorrect that's good because that's what we wanted it to do so if we look it's gone through here it's it's declared these two variables set password equal to password it's taken the user uh, whatever you've typed in the input box, so in this case just random letters and put it into user passwords then it's tested whether or not these are the same and they're not the same so it's skipping this first part which it will only do if they're the same and going straight to the else and then performing just the section in the else so if I come back here and click run and I put in passwords and click OK then access granted and we're in so in this case because they were the same it's done the top part before the else and not done the last part it's left this part out this is one of the most common pieces of coding you're going to use so you're going to need to familiarize yourself quite well with this and in the next tutorial I'm going to be going on to further uses of the if statements. So thanks for listening and I hope you'll be listening again soon.